Hey, what's up and welcome back to the HK Rifleworks YouTube channel. So today we are going to be doing our load development test on our 223 precision rifle. Now we settled on 23.2 grains of IMR 8208 XBR and we are going to be shooting the 77 grain tip match kings. And how I set this up is we are going to do 3,000th increments in terms of uh, seating depth. And we're going to start at 1.892 and we're going to work our way. So we're going to start at the shortest and work our way to the longest. And our longest load here is going to be 1.916 cartridge base to O-Drive. And 1.916 is 20 thousandths off of our lands. I didn't bring my target cam in it or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably just time lapse me shooting these groups real quick. And then we will regroup at the bench and go over our velocity, standard deviation, and just take a look at the groups. And so you know as well, we're only shooting uh, three shot groups in this as well. So stay tuned. Let's get this stuff uh, shot and then we will see you at the bench. All right, so we got the magneto speed set up and we are going to start off at 1.892 cartridge base to ogive. And just to let y'all know, every single round here has been checked and double checked with a uh, ogive comparator. So uh, we have controlled every aspect of the reloading process uh, as well as we can. All these charges were thrown with the RCBS Charge Master 1500, so it's accurate to about a tenth of a grain. So uh, hopefully we get some good results today. All right, so we are back at the bench and I ended up stopping shooting right at 1.901. I should have continued on, but it was a busy day. We had a couple of meetings and a lot of guns to shoot and it was starting to get a little busier. So I just decided to stop there. Um, but again, I probably should have uh, shot at least two or three more groups, but um, we will take a quick look at 1.892 real quick. We had a velocity of 20, 2871 and a standard deviation of 31, which was pretty big. A group size was at the largest just over an inch. We moved over to 1.895. That gave us a velocity of 2882, 2882 feet per second, with a standard deviation of 10.7. Now, in kind of the 11 o'clock area on the pink, that's actually two shots, and then our third shot was a flyer. And it looked like that group ended up being about 0.84. So we're starting to tighten up a little bit. Moving to 1.898, our velocity was 2,871 feet per second with a standard deviation of 23. So we had a bump in our SD. And I believe this group was a little bit smaller. It looks to be about the same, 0.84. But then we saw some good, a good group come out of 1.901. Velocity was almost 2890, so it was 2889 feet per second with an SD of 7. So that was really, really promising. And I mean, this group turned out really good too. Um, I mean, it's 0.225. It's about a quarter of an inch group right there. But again, that's only three shots. And, uh, you know, the SD was good, the velocity was good. And after shooting that, I think that I'm just gonna seat the rest of these bullets down to 1.901 cartridge base to O-Drive, see if I can replicate that on my next range trip and call it good. If I can't replicate it, I'll just continue on with the test, but y'all know primers, powder, projectiles are semi-scarce right now, so if I can save time or some money, I will. 
But um, again, so I think that that's gonna be what I'm gonna seat the remainder of the bullets down to, to that length, and then we will shoot it and uh, get this rifle out to distance. Again, thank y'all so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. I really appreciate the time that y'all take to watch these videos. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dog. Tell your dog I said hi. We'll see you in the next one.